Aloha. I'm your Minna Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain and maintain optimum health. Today, I am so very excited to share with you what I'm learning about nitric oxide. I've talked about nitric oxide in the past. I've even made a few videos dedicated just to that topic. I'll link them in the description below. Today, we're here to discuss nitric oxide specifically in the context of COVID-19. As we're all aware, this coronavirus pandemic seems to be dominating everything, and it's changing the way we go about our daily lives. Scientists are working around the clock to develop vaccines and treatments for the disease. And while treatment in general is getting better, we still don't really have a reliable prophylaxis or preventative, and we don't really have a treatment or cure. As it stands right now, COVID-19 is not even remotely close to being eradicated. We continue to search for things that can potentially help or prevent or even treat COVID. Enter nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a powerful molecule and it's made within the human body. It plays a critical role in many biological functions. And one of its most important roles is something called vasodilatation or dilation of the arteries and veins in the body. Nitric oxide is believed to play a key role in the innate immune system. And in addition to this, some studies suggest that nitric oxide has antimicrobial activity against common bacteria, as well as mycobacteria, viruses, fungi, yeast, and parasites. Interestingly, there is mounting evidence that indicates that inhaling nitric oxide could prevent and maybe even treat COVID-19 patients. Currently, there are at least 34 ongoing studies that are registered with clinicaltrials.gov evaluating nitric oxide and COVID-19. Many of these are going on at reputable places like Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, Tufts Medical Center, University Hospital Network in Toronto, Louisiana State University in Shreveport, and many more. Let's review the evidence we have on this so far, and then let's discuss the studies that are currently underway. Before we start, it's worth stating that the private sector has been working really hard on a nitric oxide solution. Therefore, some of these studies we'll be reviewing are funded by industry. At this point though, it's all hands on deck to find a SARS-CoV-2 prevention and cure. Any of the devices I discuss, of course, I have no affiliation or sponsorship from. You should know though, that I'm co-authoring a paper on nitric oxide and COVID-19 with my friend Pratesh. More details on that soon. The first study is a small clinical trial done at Massachusetts General Hospital where they administer nitric oxide therapy to six hospitalized pregnant patients with COVID-19. Researchers found that the administration resulted in rapid and sustained improvement of heart and lung function and decreased inflammation. Lorenzo Berra, one of the investigators and a corresponding author of the study states, quote, we noted rapid relief from breathlessness in these patients with lower respiratory rates and better oxygenation after mask administration of high concentration nitric oxide with no adverse side effects. The second study was conducted by a biotech company called NoBio. They demonstrated nitric oxide efficacy against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. More specifically, NoBio reported that nitric oxide can inhibit the coronavirus infection it can inhibit coronavirus viral replication, and it can inhibit the release of reproduced virus. It almost sounds too good to be true. How exactly does nitric oxide do this? Well, it makes it so the virus cannot bind to the spike protein. If the viruses can't bind, it can't infect human cells. Nitric oxide has also been shown to slow viral RNA production. This results in fewer viral copies being made, so less virus in the body. It's important to note though, this is an in vitro study, a study done out of the body and not on live human beings. So as with any in vitro study, it needs to be taken with a grain of salt. Nevertheless, the findings were impressive. Therapeutic doses of nitric oxide were applied to cells that were infected with the coronavirus, and the nitric oxide showed a dose-dependent effect on viral replication. 
The result was a greater than 99.9% reduction in virus observed after 24 hours compared to the virus which was observed on untreated cells. Furthermore, there was no cytotoxic impact, meaning no cell damage or cell death on uninfected cells. This no bio method of treating COVID-19 is still to be approved by the FDA. Submission for publication and peer review is expected before the year's end. Another study published in the Journal of Redox Biology demonstrated that nitric oxide can inhibit the replication of SARS-CoV-2. And it concluded that nitric oxide may be applied for clinical use in the treatment of COVID-19 and other human coronavirus infections. Moving on, there is a poster presentation that was just presented last week titled, Nitric Oxide is a powerful anti-coronavirus inhaled agent that acts within hours. This paper comes from a collaboration between the Beyond Air Company, Ben Gurion University of the Negev, and the Soroka Medical Center. Basically, the Beyond Air Company has developed a platform system which they call LungFit, which synthesizes up to 400 parts per million nitric oxide from ambient air, and it delivers it to the human lung. They tested their system against human coronavirus infected cells. They delivered 150 to 250 parts per million of nitric oxide for up to eight hours intermittently. They then assessed the results. They found that when they exposed the coronavirus infected cells to 150 ppm of nitric oxide, the coronavirus lost 50% of its infectivity after four hours of treatment and complete inhibition of infectivity was achieved after eight hours of treatment. Honestly, these are incredible results. These researchers concluded that 150 to 250 parts per million of gaseous nitric oxide shows anti-coronavirus properties when administered either prior to or post infection. Wouldn't it be interesting to see what this would do in a real person, not just on coronavirus infected cells? Well, good thing that question was asked. This research group is planning to initiate a clinical study in Israel, testing the LungFit device in real people. They'll be using it to treat patients with COVID who are hospitalized and have pneumonia. And the proposed protocol would be 150 parts per million inhaled nitric oxide given intermittently for 40 minutes, four times per day for up to seven days. I can't wait to see the results of that trial. In addition to this, there's multiple clinical trials that are currently underway. When we look at large studies evaluating whether a certain device, drug, or medication is ideal to treat a certain condition, we have phase one, phase two, and phase three studies. Phase three studies are the most rigorous and they're designed to evaluate how the new treatment works in comparison to existing treatments. The FDA usually, most of the time, requires a phase three clinical trial before approving a new treatment. In the case of nitric oxide, there are both phase two and phase three clinical trials evaluating its use specifically in the treatment of COVID-19. Let's start with the phase two clinical trials that are ongoing. There are two separate phase two clinical trials at Massachusetts General Hospital studying this. The first is a study where 470 healthcare workers are given inhaled nitric oxide gas as a prophylaxis or preventative. The healthcare workers breathe nitric oxide at 160 parts per million for 15 minutes at both the beginning and the end of their shift. They will then be followed to see if they contract COVID-19. We don't have results on this yet, but expect trial completion in April, 2021. The second phase two clinical trial that's happening at Massachusetts General Hospital is looking at COVID positive patients. They will be given inhaled nitric oxide and closely monitored to see whether it improves short-term respiratory status, prevents future hospitalization, and improves their clinical course. Okay, on to discussing phase three clinical trials. Nitric oxide is looking so promising that once these phase three trials get completed, it will likely gain approval for use preventing and treating COVID-19. One of these studies was started in June, 2020, and it's currently underway. It's called the Covenox study. 
This is a phase three randomized double blind placebo controlled trial to assess the efficacy of inhaled nitric oxide compared to placebo in patients with mild or moderate COVID-19. This trial is looking at 500 participants and it splits the patients into two groups, a placebo group and a group receiving inhaled nitric oxide. Researchers will be assessing the proportion of subjects that develop respiratory failure or mortality and will be comparing the two groups. The study will be performed at multiple medical facilities across the country, including Banner University Medical Center in Arizona, multiple Kaiser Permanente hospitals, University of Miami, Ohio State University, Temple University, and many more locations. It's expected to be completed in February 2021. This study, once completed, should give us a really good idea of whether inhaled nitric oxide is a viable therapy for patients with mild to moderate COVID-19. The study is funded by a company called Bellerophon, who manufactures a device called the Inopulse. I, of course, have no affiliation with them or their products. The Inopulse is a machine that provides inhaled nitric oxide therapy, and it's received emergency expanded access program approval by the FDA. This device already has had promising data treating over 180 hospitalized COVID-19 patients. This is how they were able to get an approval to run a phase three trial. And just as important, inhaled nitric oxide was well tolerated with no safety concerns. So all in all, nitric oxide appears to be very promising in the prevention and potentially the treatment of COVID-19. There are multiple ways to get nitric oxide levels increased. Some studies are looking at inhaled nitric oxide, but others are looking at different things that can increase nitric oxide, like nitric oxide lozenges and nasal irrigation solutions, for example. But before you run out and buy some nitric oxide on the black market to snort, know that nitric oxide can be made by you in your very own home with no special equipment whatsoever. In my other videos on nitric oxide, which are linked below, I discuss ways to increase nitric oxide naturally. For example, by humming, nasal breathing, and by eating green leafy vegetables. Check out those videos for more details. There is one thing that I find very, very interesting. It's interesting enough to make a separate video. The possibility of nasal breathing and humming to prevent or potentially even treat COVID-19. That video is in the works, coming up next, so stay tuned for that. But here's a quick teaser. The act of humming alone can raise nitric oxide concentrations in the nasal cavity to about 250 parts per million. That's a pretty high concentration. That concentration is higher than what is being used in the phase two Massachusetts General Hospital study and higher than the trial that's gonna be underway in Israel. Both of those studies are at 160 and 150 parts per million inhaled nitric oxide, respectively. So basically, it comes down to this. Why do we even need a fancy device if we can raise nitric oxide levels on our own? Hmm, definitely food for thought. Well, that wraps it up for today's discussion. I absolutely hope you found this information empowering, useful, and practical. Links to the references used in the video are in the video description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna show us some real support, subscribe. If you happen to be one of these companies manufacturing nitric oxide products, let me know. I've got some ideas for research projects in the works and would love to discuss these ideas further with you. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and aloha.